Or do you dress down for that a little yeah. bit? Yeah. Yeah, right. Okay. Okay. Okay, uh, congratulations. Well, I, I just want to know where the heck you got the energy to stay focused for this film all the way through. It is intense. We dug deep on this one. We had a lot of impediments, though. We had Louisiana humidity and summer weather. We had uh, just the physical aspects of, of being a Marine, of just running around, shooting, and all that sort of stuff. Hardest movie ever made. Uh, in the morning, I would get in my car and I would say, with my I would say to my driver, I'd say, I don't know how I'm going to get through this day. Mm -hmm. And in the, in the evening, I would get in the car and I'd say, I don't know how I got through that day. I, I, I want to know, I mean, you went to boot camp to prepare for this, and uh, essential, I'm sure. You know, how important was it for you to go through that process? It, oh, t it was imperative. Uh, you know, the, technically to learn our weapons, to learn how to train, to clear a room, to walk on the streets, to be able to signal, to be able to speak like a Marine. But more importantly even was um, because we ate in rank, slept in rank, showered in rank, trained in rank, these guys got to know each other mm -hmm. under duress and really got to share stories, you know, what kind of girls they like, songs, all this sort of stuff. They were best of friends. Um, me, I kind of, you know, because I was a staff sergeant, I kept my distance. But for them, uh, we really felt like, and this is no disrespect to Marines, but we, we felt like, you know, we were, we did okay. And we wanted to honor the Marines and have respect and, and, and do it right for the armed forces. Yeah, I mean, how do you stay in physical shape for what you went through in this? I mean, seriously, workout city even before you started Oh yeah, doing months that? before. Months before. And I had to keep up with these young guys, you know. Um, <laughs> we did a lot of PT, but I, I was working with my weapon and, and doing um, fitness training for months before this. Yeah, I, I you know, it's amazing. Uh, you're, you're also, not only you have this intense stuff, you know, remembering the lines that you have and all this, but then you have the CGI thing to contend with as well, and you're basically battling nothing. What on earth is that like for you? Um, you know, it's not the best, but uh, because a lot of in this movie it is practical, you know, the, the, the crashed helicopters, the Humvees, the five-gallon gasoline bombs going off, we're using live rounds, you know, right, live dummy rounds. So if you just kind of close your eyes a little bit and listen, you think you're at war. Um, and that helps, believe me. Um, and then you have your director, uh, you know, six inches behind you with a bullhorn going, you know, they're over there, <laughs> you know, <laughs> that kind of stuff, which is, you know, a little disconcerting, yeah. but... Um, Here's my puppet, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah there's a couple guys with, um, with white and black suits jumping around in the background. It's crazy. Yeah, well, you get used to it, but you, you know, because you know, the script and everything, you, you all know what you're doing. And intense in terms of the cameras, the three or four oh. cameras in your face all the time. Oh, beautiful. And, and you know, do you, is it important for you to be method? Like, you've got Absolutely. to stay in the, in the moment? For me, it's there's no other way. I enjoy that, and I enjoyed my character so much. This is the only character in my career that I um, was sad to leave. Uh, I, I would love to be in another one of these. Uh, you know, I, I stayed in character all the time, I don't know, for five months. I probably drove everybody crazy. Um, but uh, t for me, to get the reality, to, to con because you're up against a couple things with this audience. You're doing an alien movie, and you're doing a war movie, and it's a big popcorn blockbuster movie. So we have to go the extra mile to convince the audience that this is real to us, so it will be real to the audience. And I feel we did that. Are you ready to take on the title Aaron Eckhart, action hero? Um... I hope this movie does well. <laughs> Come on, I think you could live on. You did a great job. I mean, really. I, 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 you know, action hero, I love to do smart action. I love um, smart action. And so if, if that's the title, I'll, I'll, I would embrace it. Very good. Um, I was going to say, you shot in Louisiana for this film. Um, and I have to think that there'd be awesome craft service. What was the best thing that they served there? Well, we had all the gumbo and all that sort of stuff. Um, uh, let's see, we were in Shreveport, and I've actually had, I had some good food in, in uh, Louisiana. Um, food is very important to those people. Now, we didn't film in New Orleans, but on my weekends, I would go and I would see these guys shrimping. I would see them go in the, in the jungles and go fishing. Not in the jungles, but in the swamps with the alligators and go crab or crawfish fishing and all that sort of stuff. I'm very passionate about food there. What's your favorite thing that you love to order or go when you go to a restaurant? What do you like to, what's, what do you like to eat? You know, I'm a, a steak and potatoes kind of guy. I'm a, I'm a meat and potatoes. I'm a pretty simple person. Um, I, I love that. And then I love, uh, I love a good, um, I, I love beets. 
Interesting. Do you like beets? I'm not a beet person, but do you have a good rest, like a good beet salad that you make or something? I well, I mean, you know, in restaurants they make. <laughs> I did do a movie where I would play the chef, you know, in no reservations. I got to know some food. I got to be able to make gnocchi, to um, you know, do all that sort of stuff, fillet fish and all. So I got to know a little bit about food, um, but I'm really food is fuel to me. I'm sorry to say. For yeah, your hey, segment. It is for all of us. Quickly, I have to know, what was the movie or actor who inspired you to become an actor? Cary Grant. I grew up watching Cary Grant films uh, and Katherine Hepburn films. And um, although I'm nothing like Cary Grant and never could be, uh, he was just so relaxed, so simple, and so magnetic that I, I whenever he's on, I, I'm drawn to him. Um, and there's never been anybody who has ever come close to him. And he's vastly underrated because he was so good. Yeah. Well, I think you're pretty darn suave. I, I put you in the Cary Grant car. No, 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 no. no well, thank you very much. You're great. You did a very good job in this. <laughs> Love you talking very much. to you. Thank Me you. Too. Thanks, Aaron. That was great. Bye, thank Bonnie. You.